A John Hopkins student killed someone with a samurai sword. All right, so let's, let's watch the video real quick, because that explains what happened here, and it's pretty small. Uh, and then I want to <laughs> make a couple of quick comments. Well, with a swift move of a samurai sword, a Johns Hopkins University student kills an intruder. The undergrad said he heard some rumblings at his home, went downstairs with his sword to check it out. I like he found the burglar crouched beneath a counter in the garage. The student told counter. the man to get out, and that's when the burglar, he says, attacked him. Attacked him? What is he? James retaliated by striking the suspect with a samurai sword. A severe laceration to the upper body severed his left hand. The suspect died on the scene. The student may not be charged because he acted in self-defense. The burglar was a man in his late 40s who had a history of criminal activity. He was released from prison on Saturday. <laughs> this news story brought to you by James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. He was underneath the counter. Then a quick strike. Damn it, Jim. I'm a reporter in Baltimore. Not a samurai. All right, by the way, that kid was not playing. Yeah. Severed his hand with the first blow and the deep enough laceration in the chest to kill him? Yeah. Oof. Man, that dude snuck into the wrong house. And that made me think, what the hell is Wes Clark Jr. doing in Baltimore? Because <laughs> that's what he said would happen if somebody snuck into his house. And this right. guy swung the sword first, asked questions later. He's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Oh, I don't know you. You're in my house. Who oh, sick dude? And then he's like, okay, so anyway, who were you again? Yeah, but the, the guy, like, jumped at him. So he was about to physically harm him. By the way. That's what he says. Now, oh. we don't know because that dude is dead. <laughs> okay, dead as a doorknob. That's true. I didn't think about that. Okay. Uh, but he did have a serious criminal record. So, you know, that doesn't mean he's guilty, but likely he was up to no good in that house. Now, does not mean you should have killed him? Mm, probably not. And it didn't say anything about the guy being armed. Mm. So I feel a little bad for the guy. But you know what? And you shouldn't have broken into the dude's house. Because you know what? You shouldn't have broken into anybody's house. Because you don't know who has a samurai sword. Mm -hmm. So put some thought behind it, okay? Final thought on it. How badly did that kid want to use that sword? Pretty badly. You know that every time there was a little creak in the house or a little rat, you know, mm -hmm. you know, knocked over a cereal box or something in the house, he's like, grab the sword. He's like, who's up, bitch? Who's up? And so when he finally saw a guy, he's like, oh. Yeah! Yeah, you know? you know what? It's going to sound really ridiculous, but I think killing someone with a samurai sword is the coolest way to kill someone. <laughs> because samurai swords are awesome. <laughs> no, you know what's really funny? What? I agree. Yeah, see? <laughs> okay, and that's what's unfortunate about it, because it encourages people. Yeah, don't use your samurai okay. swords. We're like, you know, the Rush Limbaugh's of the left. <laughs> okay, <laughs> put that sword down. Okay, put it down. Okay, don't get too excited. But when you know what everybody's reaction was when he chopped off the hand. And they're like, ooh, that's kind of badass. Can't get enough of the Young Turks? Well, then subscribe to the TYT's YouTube channel. What's the matter with you?